Hey there AZ. So I modified my Evapotron to be solar powered, but it still maintains its wind power status. Let me show you real quick. I have this solar panel, which is charging the uh, battery. And I have every, all the electronics in a little case here. I have a charge controller, which just basically charges up this battery, 7 amp hour battery. And I made a little customized controller that basically detects if it's light outside and if it's windy or not. Based on those two conditions, it will either use solar or wind if the wind is available to spin the Evaptron. So I made a wind meter out of some electronics and yogurt containers. When it's windy, this system will know it because it'll be spinning. And my controller will uh, determine if there's enough speed to turn the solar motor off and let the wind um, spin the Evapotron. So right now it's not windy enough to spin the Evapotron, but I have the system off so it's not currently running. Um, there's also a light sensor on there, kind of like a hallway nightlight, and it will uh, turn the system off at night so it's not um, being used when evaporation is very limited at night. So anyways, um, I want this to be able to spin freely when it's windy, so I, had an, of an, I have an electric motor that will spin the drum, but I don't want to connect it until it's windy outside. So what I did was I hooked up a motor on an arm that's spring-loaded. So it's being held up right now holding this drive pulley away from the drum. So it cannot spin it. And I have a water pump over here and a jar within a jar and they both drain. When the inner jar fills up, it drains slower. So it fills up and then tops over inside here and drains out. It makes a weight. The weight will drop this arm and it overcomes the spring force and it will engage the wheel. So I'll show you how the system works. Turn it on here. So right now the water pump is on and so is the electric motor, but the motor cannot spin the wheel because it's not engaged yet. Don't know if you could see it, but the water is filling up inside the jar within the jar. And it's falling. Alright. Now the wheel's engaged. And being spring-loaded, it allows it to engage and disengage and have a little bit of slop in the system because everything's not true with an Evapotron. So the system spins pretty slow, so hopefully the evaporation will be just fine. I figured if it goes too fast, it might, have, might not have adequate time to evaporate. So basically the solar will stay on during the day when there's not enough wind to spin it. I can adjust the amount of wind that it takes to spin it in the control box, but I will show you, I'll just turn it off or I could spin this to show you, make some fake wind. And it's calculating an average, so it takes a minute, but basically the motor is still engaged and the jar within the jar is draining and it will start lifting here in a minute patiently waiting And there it goes, just lifted. So it lifted and disengaged the electric motor. So now the wind can have very low resistance and freely spin the Evapotron. So that is it. Can't wait to test it on the playa. And you can check it out. We'll be in Dusty Bunny Camp in AEZ. So, all right, guys. Can't wait.